Oh shit, I'm a damn unicorn. This is oh, my daughter's not gonna like that. This is Luke Pace from MMA Fancast uh interviewing the main event winner, comma the Death Star Worthy at Brandenburg 14. Um a lot happened tonight. You won your main event, it was a tough fight, split decision win. You really showed a lot yeah, of Yeah, I don't heart. know about that split decision. Yeah. Uh, well, we don't keep going with that. But the <laughs> but the bigger news is your legendary career in MMA. You put your gloves down. You announced that you had just turned 36. You look great, by the way. And uh, and that you're retiring from MMA, but you still want to do some combat sports. So we're not saying it's over, but as far as MMA goes, uh, let's reflect a little bit on the fight. Uh, Josh Roller was obviously very tough. Cracked you a couple times. You had him busted up, bleeding. You stung him. A lot of grappling exchanges. From your perspective being in there, what was it like uh, fighting him tonight? It was it was fun, man. I I, I, I seriously, um, I don't think I can't remember the last fun fight I have. Like like me getting to the UFC was was, was old. I got to the UFC old, so it was just by chance. So then every fight that I had it was always just about like you know let's make some money. I was like I want to make some money, make some money, you know. But like uh, and then like you got out of the UFC, it was just all about get back to UFC so you can make a little bit of money before you get old. And it just got exhausting trying to do that. So like this fight, like I told myself probably like a month and a half ago. Like I wanted to do this fight, and I wanted to be my. I was thinking about it being my last fight, and then when my body just starts to just hurt, I just like I just just fighting just it's just a lot. It takes a lot out. It takes a lot out of me. Um, so yeah, I, I decided to make it the last. And Josh Roller, you're a fucking stud. Thank you for being my last MMA fight. That was a he made a fun fight. It wasn't boring. And like, you would pull guard and fucking elbow. I'm like, oh you bitch. Like, who the fuck does that? It made, made it made it a fun fight, man. I, I liked it. I, I had to fight through adversity and a lot of things, so I, I enjoyed it. Well, I'm glad it was for you as a fighter with almost 30 pro fights in MMA alone. It's great that you could go out on a fight where you enjoyed yourself. And it, was, it wasn't it was a walk in the park. It was a back and forth yeah. fight, very entertaining. Um, obviously, you disagree with the split decision, but it was a very back and forth fight. Right. Um, he did crazy things like pulling guard and uh, doing Spinning some- back fences and yeah, shit. <laughs> doing other stuff. Now I know you're gonna have more time to reflect, but after almost 30 pro fights, you had two huge fights, fought five times in the UFC, two huge fights with bonus wins, with the, the biggest upset underdog win against Devontae Smith. But for you as an MMA fighter, what are some of the fights that stand out to you as you reflect back on your career? Um, my best fight of my career, is when I fought down at the Rivers Casino, I fought Brady Hovermel because Brady Hovermel had fought Mark Cherico, and Mark Cherico couldn't finish him, and he fought my man Justin Steve, and he armbarred Justin Steve. And at that time, my gym had just gotten flooded, and I was just like, like my fiance was pregnant, like my gym had gotten flooded. I was just like, really just getting worn on. And I remember telling myself, I'm like, if I can go out there and do what I'm supposed to do, like. And it was and it was the it was like the most fun fight I've ever had. I've never had a fight where I felt like I was destined to be there. Like that seriously like put me in the right mindset to like get to where mm. I had to get to UFC. So that fight um, down to Rivers Casino uh, was definitely my biggest like clarity moment for me. So. Well, it shows that a, a lot of the fighting is also. Uh, your emotions and your mindset, yeah. what's going on behind the scenes, whether or not you're gonna stay with it or make it a career or, you know, you, you had a lot of fantastic fights. Uh, you've really put 247 fighting championships on the map. Yeah, I know, 247, well, I, know I know the <laughs> owner, Ryan Milton, is really grateful for you. You headlined a lot. I think every fight you were in for 247, you were headlining yeah, that. Yeah. And that was the first undefeated couple fights. Undefeated 247. Yeah, undefeated yeah, 247 yeah, and yeah, their first yeah. ever pro. <laughs> first ever pro champ and then your buddy John Hayes is also a yeah, pro yeah. champ you went to the UFC he went to Bellator so thanks not only for what you did for 247 and really showing that they're a great promotion but also so many people have gotten into MMA for fitness or training out of your gym the academy and that's an incredible legacy um, just you as a coach yeah. so and that's what I want to do man like I enjoy teaching the kids and hopefully like raising some more fighters and stuff and building people up and like I mean like I can still like I said, I want to do some other stuff, but I know, I know I'm a realist. I like I've always prided myself on being a realist, and I'm like I'm not that same 22 year old who would dodge in front of a bullet in a fight. Like I'm not that man lugger no more. I'm just sitting like yeah, uh, maybe not. So I'm, I mean I'm different. Like my body's fucking old. Dude, I'm telling y'all, y'all saw. Yeah, like, everyone sees me. And they're like, oh, you look so good. You know, I shaved my head. I shaved my head so I look a little younger this fight. <laughs> but I'm like, yo, I'm like I'm I, I accept it. Like turning 36 is weird too, cause now I'm past half a 70. 
I'm like, God <laughs> oh, damn, no. man, God damn. I, I mean, it's been really fucking with me. Wait, 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 where's Dave at? Dave turns 40 next week. He was telling me, <laughs> yeah, this shit is. making him go crazy. I'm like, I'm saying, like, I'm right around the fucking corner. For a morning. legend himself, and, Dave Stacks over yeah, there. I've been training with Dave since the first day I came into the gym. The gym that I owned, now, I walked in there and he was there and shit. I was like, and everyone kept asking about wrestling. I'm like, what the hell? Like, like pro wrestling shit? And everybody was dunking me on my head. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's been it's been a long time coming, but it's 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 a necessary evil, I guess you would say. Well, it, it's you really are a legend. For anybody that wants to learn more about Dave Sachs, we did an interview on MMA Fancast about a year and a half ago, and he gets into his MMA career as well as him coaching and training and really being a legend in uh, MMA in Pittsburgh. So thanks so much for coming on. Congratulations again. It's been an absolute honor thank being you. caveside for all of your 247 fights. Congratulations you, on your win you. and on your retirement. Thank you, brother. Thank you.